This video explains how to customize the legend of a blot leak graphic using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I'm going to use the Blotly and the Deeplier packages. And for that reason, we first need to install and load these packages, as you can see in lines two to six of the code. I have installed both of these packages already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load them by running line three and line six. So after running these lines of code, we are able to use all the functions of the Blotly and Deeplier packages. In the next step, we also need to create an example data frame for this tutorial. And we can do that as you can see in lines eight to 11 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called fruits is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains six rows and the two columns fruits and quantity, whereby the first column contains different fruit names and the second column contains a corresponding quantity for each of these fruits. Now, if we want to draw a plotly graphic in the R programming language, then we can apply the plot ly function, as you can see in lines 13 to 15 of the code. So in this case, I'm specifying our data frame, then I'm applying the plotly function to our data set and I'm also specifying a title using the layout function. So after running lines 13 to 15 of the code, a new Plotly object is appearing at the top right, which is called Fig. And we can draw this Plotly graphic at the bottom right in our studio by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom right that we have created an interactive Plotly bar chart, which shows the six different fruits and their quantities in an interactive plot. You can also see that on the right side of this plot, a legend is appearing. So in the next step, I will show you how to modify the design of this legend. And for this, we first need to create a list object. And within this list, we need to specify different arguments that we want to change in our legend. So in this case, I'm changing the font of our legend. I'm changing the background color. I'm changing the border color. I'm changing the location of the legend. I'm changing the orientation of the legend to a horizontal legend. I'm changing the border width of the legend. And I'm changing the title of the legend because I want to show it in bold letters. So after running these lines of code, a new list object called L is appearing at the top right. And this list contains all the information for our customized legend. And now in the next step, I'm recreating our plot, as you can see in lines 30 to 33. So in lines 30 to 32, I'm using basically the same syntax as before in lines 13 to 15. However, this time I'm also specifying within the layout function that our legend should be equal to this list that I have created before. So after running lines 30 to 33 of the code, our figure object fig is updated. And we can see that by running line 34 of the code, because after running this line of code, our plot is updated at the bottom right. And as you can see, we have changed many different components of our Plotly legend. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.